Hey, Joey Blue here, and I want to talk about the count function. So the count function will give you a count of different things. In this case, the first one I want to run is we're going to look at the employee table. And we know there's 14 records there, but we're just going to say count star. I use this a lot of times to see how many records are in a table. And so we've got 14 records in that table. So the count will just count the number of records. Now, there's a couple of other things we can do with it, though. We could filter, in this case, where job equals uh, clerk. And since it's a string, <coughs> since it's a string, we want to put ticks around it. We'll execute that. And so we know there's four rows, but if we put a count star, it would tell us there's four rows. So maybe there's 100,000 and, and we can't just visually look at it. And the count star would help us there. So we filtered that. Now, let's go ahead and get rid of our filter. Let's go check, check out our table again. And what I wanna do this time is I wanna know how many different jobs there are. So let's first do count job okay and I get 14 was well, that the right answer 14 different jobs what did it just do there so let's look at the whole table what it did was looked for columns that actually had a value well all these all of these rows have a value for job so what we really want to do is we want to know what distinct jobs are there and the way you do that is you use the count function with a distinct clause. Distinct job. So now it'll count and give us a dis the distinct jobs. So if we execute that, we've got five. So let's go back and verify that we know what that's doing. If we look at jobs, there's a clerk, that's one. There's a salesman, that's two. There's a manager, that's three. There's an analyst, that's four and a president, that's five. So there's five distinct jobs. So now let's just do a count of this manager field and see what happens. So if we execute that, we only get 13. But there's 14 rows in our table. So what is happening there? Well, in this case, it doesn't count null values. And so it throws that out and only counts the 13 records that actually have a value. Same thing will happen over here on commission. If we do a count of commission, you can see there's quite a few nulls here. And since I probably didn't spell that right, there we go. And so we've got actually four people that have a commission. And so that is an introduction into the count function within the SQL language.